G'day viewers and welcome to this week's PB's Retro Restorations. First up I'd like to give a big welcome to any new viewers and a big welcome back to my long suffering regular viewers. This week I'm customising this Matchbox Lesney Superfast number 25 Ford Cortina. The friends of the channel Kathy and Matthew found for me a while back. You may remember the video I shared showing off Matt's awesome Holden station wagon and other diecast goodies they discovered in a local op shop. As you can see, it's literally had both of its doors blown off, probably by a hot valiant at the traffic lights, but other than that, it's pretty sound. No busted A-pillars, which helps. At any rate, I've decided I'm going to attempt a GT conversion on this little guy for something different, as I do already have an original one in the collection. So on that note, let's get crack a as they say in Broadmeadows, maybe, and get cooking on this Cortina. So as a special treat to your viewers, I'm not going to gibber over the top of this video very much, or I'm going to try not to. I'm doing it right now. Um, and just let some of the or natural sound effects go this week. Uh, if there is any music, it's because I had to overdub licensed music that was in the background. So I hope you'll enjoy the different ambiance of this video and have a good time. I thought I'd get away without having to narrow the axles, but uh, it's not to be. And here I am just filling the hole because I'm getting rid of the tow bar. GT Cortina doesn't need a tow bar. So I'm just going to fill in the gap in the bumper and respray it and make it wonderful.
So I was painting a couple of cars this night, you know, two cars with opening doors. I did the uh, other one first, then I did this one, and this is where I had my epiphany. Just spray these doors gold. Mmm. Mmm, they're not Cortina doors, are they, Peter? The Lamborghini Miura doors. What'd you do with the Cortina doors? Oh, you know, sprayed them red. <sighs> I honestly don't know what's wrong with me some days, viewers. I think I've got an idea. And it might involve alcohol, but... <sighs> anyway, I pushed on. So yes, I've got one red car, one gold car, and four red doors. So you know what that means. Back into the stripper they go, and I was really worried because he was like white metal cast replacements. I, I fully expected the caustic soda to just dissolve and melt them, but they didn't. Probably lost a little bit of their detailing, but um, anyway, I'm waffling again. I went online and got some reference photos of Cortina GTs. I realised that Cortina GTs are four doors, not two doors. Um, but I went with what I had. I knocked up some decals for the stripes and the hood blackouts. Uh, and I think they came out pretty good. Although they didn't apply terribly well, but we'll get to that. So the decals came out looking the part, uh, but of course being so small and so thin, uh, they were a little bit tricky to get to lay on the body flat. I thought, well, I'll get them close and the clear coat will suck them down onto the body. They didn't really. They're, they're not completely awful, but you will see the ripples in them in the end product.
So before I applied the chrome details to the front bumper, I cut the middle section out of it just to try and make it look like a GT bumper. It's a little bit rough, but it's okay. And then I 3D printed some spotlights, which is a really good idea, because you know how small 164th spotlights are? About that small. Uh, that was a challenge for me, poor old eyes.
here I am just applying a license plate to the back. Uh, I did end up just cutting this out off a piece of paper and sticking it on there. You could see straight through the decal. But at any rate, with that small little addition, just like that, as if by magic, we are done. So here we are back at the start with our doorless op shop wonder. Thanks again, Kathy and Matt. I really appreciate the donation. Um, hang on, it wasn't donation. I paid you for it. <laughs> I really appreciate you finding it, though. Um... <laughs> Anyway, uh, worst part of this car was the missing doors. Um, apart from that, it was pretty sound. The glass is better than it looks. Anyway, this is what we started with. And after some love, care and attention, this is what we're left with now. Ta-da! Now, looking a million bucks with its GT stripes and vinyl top and the wheel swap and a little bit of detail painting. I'm getting better at detailing. I'm not brilliant at it, but quite pleased with this little transformation it was a bit of fun and uh, I enjoyed it hope you've enjoyed it hope you enjoyed the you know the actual sound effects instead of my terrible fake ones this week but anyway let me know what you think in the comments give me a thumbs up and all that stuff and like share subscribe and tell your grandmother about it and good times will ensue So thanks for dropping by to watch my video, I really appreciate it. If you've liked this one and would like to try another, just click on one of these links that have hopefully appeared on your screen. If you've decided that the PB life is the way of life for you and you'd like to subscribe, just click on my bald nut there in the middle of your screen. Be sure to click the bell for alerts and you too can be swept away to a world of PB magic every time a new video drops. Have a great day wherever you are in the universe and I'll see you next time. Bye!